Hello, hello, everybody. Good afternoon. How it's been going with you folks? This will be the first time that we will be doing a live, live streaming on YouTube here in our channel. And today, this is going to be super, super fun as we will have an extraordinary guest. All right, so everybody who's on business right now today, you wouldn't want to miss this. You wouldn't want to miss this. Let me just have our guests here. All right. All right, so we're back at it. There you go. So before uh, we start our live stream masterclass today, um, I just want to give a huge shout out to all to all our friends on Facebook and uh, on uh, YouTube that is watching us right now. So um, again, I'm your boy K I N G. This is Look Who's Talking. Hello, everyone. You are here watching right now because just like us. You believe that there is power in getting better, right? So with that being said, today, if you are in business, uh, whether you just started out your business or you're looking to improve your business, this is definitely a master class made for you. You will get all the best overall business development advices from our guests. Yes, from starting your business to some of, most of the most um, powerful branding and marketing approach, which uh, are what the biggest corporation all over the world are using right now. And we are super glad for this guest because he will give you all these advices and mentoring for free. Yes, you heard that right, Obi, for free. So today we will be joined by a great business expert in marketing, branding, and overall business operations. He has been a long time business executive helping multi-million worth corporations on building their brands, spearheading a revolutionary marketing style 
and dominating the industries through his innovative and always ahead of the game business approach. He is also a writer, a speaker. He has a doctorate degree in business management with major in financial management and a long time business consultant, including which is sales and marketing mentorship and a trainer. He is also the director and the founder of DRB Business. And to top it all up, if that seems not enough, he is one of the few body language experts in the country. A man sought after by the biggest corporations across the country and internationally, like Film Life and Silver Works, just to name a few. A great business mind and a man behind many business success get your notes and pens ready for this will be a heavy note jotting session we'll have here today i'm so proud to introduce you our guest the ceo of extradermia and a very good friend dawin barrios friend good evening viewers Hello, how, how, are you how are you doing? Yeah, I'm 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 pretty good. Uh actually I had a very tiring day because I just all day and then uh, um hmm. yeah um making some you know um some errands and then here we are. Amen. <laughs> That's nice. I'm yeah. introducing you, brother. I love introducing. <laughs> I had so much fun reading all really? your accolades and your credentials, and your man. Mm -hmm. I mean, what yeah. is there that have been haven't been said about you when it comes to business world? <laughs> well, I don't know. I think pretty much you have said everything, so I think I'm pretty good with it. <laughs> I had so much fun, bro. I had so much fun. Yeah. So. So um, let's uh, get started this uh, business masterclass. And before anything else, bro, we are super honored uh, to have you here. I know that this, uh, <laughs> we're not talking about uh, cash and money in here, but I know that this uh, mm, 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 costs a lot for other, yeah, other I businesses. I, I know, right? The, the conferences that you have attended, the, the, you know, the mentorship and all this uh, big corporation inviting you just to speak with them. This is truly an honor for us. And, and the, the thing that you have decided to give this for all our viewers uh, for free, man. Thank uh -huh. you so much. So, yeah, you're welcome. So, uh, bro, as we uh, get started with this business masterclass, no. The entire world is uh, pretty much um, hit, you know, um, hardly by this uh, pandemic, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, big corporations has decided to shut down, close out, and so many businesses actually. Uh, the economy is really rocked by this pandemic, and obviously, you know, we we see a lot of our friends, uh, unfortunately, being laid off, but. In the same breath, they have decided to take on the both of taking on their own business. Mm -hmm. So as, as an expert on this matter, not only local and national, as you, that is the, the trend that you are managing, do you think mm -hmm. this is really a good time for people to jump into the boat of you know, having their own business um, with all these that's going on? Well, you know, to answer your, you know, uh, what you have, what you just said there, yeah, it's true that you know our economy are you know are plummeting. I mean, not just the Philippines, but the entire uh, countries as well. So it is very painful, really, to really understand what's really happening globally in terms of our economic status. But then again, mm -hmm. um, it is also promising for online businesses. Why? Because there is already an acceleration of what we call the WWW economy or the digital economy. Now, uh, mm -hmm. Filipinos practically don't know about, you know, uh, Filipinos actually are not into online selling uh, and also yeah, yeah. not into... Yeah, are not. Uh, yeah, and not 
and so with ano hindi rin sila ready for you know for for online shopping but because of the pandemic you know and also people do not want to get out from their comfort zones and they do not want to be clustered along edsa it's bridge traffic so people now are really you know buying online selling online and um you know what i i hope i can share my data with you but you know um actually last uh, two weeks ago i had mm-hmm. a presentation a business presentation with uh, market influencers uh, with rog and it is uh, yeah. well uh, yeah. was actually well attended you know so yeah today is a very, very promising uh, there is uh, today uh, although there is a pandemic and you know it's very inc- it's an inconvenient truth to really understand everything however um there is already a promising market actually that is really happening right now and that is the digital economy so digital mm-hmm. economy of course um the online platforms where you really want to sell uh, of course uh, online shopping is a very you know it is it is already a big thing now because people are really buying online and that's really something and yes it may be it it may be you know um uh we may have some trouble with you know their economy but according to neda if if you know neda the national mm-hmm. economic development authority that um uh one of the business movers right now is the e-commerce industry and that wow. is very promising. Uh, yeah, that, that that is true. Uh, for two, two, uh, for for the end quarter of the, until twenty twenty one, e commerce will really move. So this is promising uh, atmosphere for econom uh, uh, e commerce online sellers as well. Wow, I mean the thing that you have just I mean brought up is really enlightening. Right, especially those mm-hmm. small business, I mean, owners right now who just started um, online right. selling, right? And uh, the documents that you have you, you have uh, the, recited to us. So NEDA is into this as well. They so y- y- right. I mean they are already forecasting all these things in the exactly. what in the next two years or three years? Yeah. That's right. You know, uh, NEDA is like a hospital for our economic growth. And we all know okay, that. Okay, that's NEDA, interesting. Yeah. I want to hear that. Yeah. NEDA is actually measuring every economic status, every economic movement that we have. So they are responsible actually when 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 they have to uh, fast pack as well as to uh, diagnose our economy, right? So NEDA is actually very impeccable in terms of uh, presenting real data that can really, you know, it, it is a bird's eye view of what's really happening in the economic arena. Now, and of course, um, as per data, I will. I don't have the. I don't have it with me. It's in my laptop. However, you know, the data is very promising, really, bro. So. If if you are going to you, you know uh, the data that I had is very detailed from 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 the online platforms to the Facebook to the current trend what what you are going to sell and how to sell you you know um, those are, those are actually very promising and then uh, I I know that a lot of people actually are really leaning towards online selling this is the right time to do it wow wow so. Um, man, that is very, I mean, enlightening. So you are giving a stamp of approval for those who are doing online selling right now. So, exactly. so in your, in in your expertise, you are saying that this is the future, and so people should ride on this boat. I mean, it is the right decision to do, as as exactly. all this pandemic is going on. Wow. So. You have mentioned earlier. You know what? One of my. Yeah, sure. Continue, continue. Yeah, go ahead. No, no, continue, please. One of my expertise as well is trans. Uh, you know, I, 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 I am very challenged by transforming non-business individual into becoming a hardcore business-minded people. Now, uh, this is really my, my. This is where my passion actually really, really gets in and really gets real because, um, ultimately, for the economy to work. Everyone needs to sell and money has to be circulated, you know, for the economy to work. And when there is a good circulation of money, you know, there will be a happy economy. There will be a healthy economy. And of course, um, well, most probably, uh, you know, this, this, the, uh, it's, uh, what they call this one, um, 
it can be again it can be very promising i'm sorry i, I was lost there but anyway it's, do you have questions okay. so um with what you have mentioned earlier uh bro yeah. about um the the promising um um trend or the graph that we are thriving at when it comes to this digital times especially in in the marketing uh, side in the business world mm -hmm. if you can name like at least two three you know business ideas that you would give a stamp of approval on for those who are watching right now and that is really thinking of something i i would like to go jump in the boat of you know doing business but i don't really have a, a good idea of which and what not to support or what business should i do to to to, to your knowledge to your expertise and of course to the data that you have what do you think what are those businesses that you would you know you would support mm -hmm. well 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 that's that's a very serious question out there well you know i can give you a lot of ideas as to what mm -hmm. products you're going to sell online but mm -hmm. then again we must consider first asking asking ourselves what are we really into we need okay. to we need to yeah first we need to identify uh what are our hobbies what are the things that we really like what are the things that we really love doing and so on and so forth you know what you need to identify all this stuff because people can only be good when they are starting then eventually you know uh, along the journey they would quit mm -hmm. because uh because sooner they realize they don't know that they are selling they are not born to be businessmen they, they don't know the right uh, approaches as to how to scale their business you know and they don't know to yes. to handle everything from, from everything from operations to logistics you know whatnot so uh yeah first is this you need to contemplate you need to understand Ano ba talaga yung para sa akin? What are the what, what what are the things that I really love? What are the things of course the things that I love doing? I have a one good example. And if if you can if, if you'll allow me, mm -hmm. you know my, my my sister is actually sure, a please please. Yeah, my sister is a businesswoman as well. But then again, she she eventually she has not become effective on what she is do, what she, what she's doing. Why? Because she's been opening a lot of businesses you, you know until one until one time uh uh one by one those businesses would start to fall and you know uh because uh she 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 was hobby, having hard time identifying herself as as a business woman and what she really you know loves doing now this is so what happened now she wasn't successful with, with with those kind of businesses she's still practically waiting as to what type of product she would you know she, she would sell online now what i can really sell you know what I, I i can going back to your question um king you know what i mm -hmm. can give you my top three top three okay number please. one you go, for, you go for grocery you go for grocery items because people now would rather buy grocery items rather than all those stuff you know you need to have that, okay. uh, that and and if you really love to cook if you have the passion of cooking and maybe you know you have something in your kitchen that you 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 haven't exposed yet or maybe displayed to your other to, to to people then maybe it's time to consider cooking and then selling it it is a good market as well now of course there's what we call the thematic that thematic is what we call from, of course this is from the word theme mm -hmm. now uh, since we are in the midst of pandemic, maybe you can sell an alcohol, maybe a face mask, maybe something that is really, of course, food supplement as well. I mean, people are really running on it. And then you need to, okay, the grocery, everything about grocery you need to sell, everything about um, cooking, food, everything that everything that you know people eat, you, you really need to sell on those things. And of course, uh, food supplement, vitamins, pan pandemic-ish related products. Those are my top three. And yeah. So I hope that the people watching right now are really jotting down notes, right? Because you know th these are not only um, 
a calculated guess, but these are what the the data, right? And exactly. this this are what the data and the information in the economy is, I mean, sharing with us, right? So this is what people are into, right? As per the the language of the economy, right? That's right. So now, bro, for those who are in you know in in the business of food right now because you know uh, as i can see i think more and more people are really you know finding um it to be a lot easier in to do the the business of food like food industry businesses right we we have few people that we know that do food business now my question is is that a good you know, is that a good business to start? I mean, don't they have to consider the competition as everybody's already in that? And what do you think will, like, if you are into this business, what do you think will make yours, of course, stand out among your your peers? Of course, aside from of having your food good, tasting good. <laughs> I mean, that is basic, right? But yeah. in that, right? Because that's what I've, I mean, that, that is what I mostly see these days. Like everybody's food business selling these uh, food, this kind of food, this kind of food. You you may even have like friend of yours, like five of them, they're all selling the same food. <laughs> exactly. But so how would you like give value to these people to at least make sure that their business will stand out among their peers? Okay. Um, well, you know what? Everyone is competing everyone nowadays. Everyone can cook. Everyone is really, everyone has its own specialty. And that is very evident right now, if, especially when you're browsing on your Facebook. You know, when you're browsing on your um, wall posts on your Facebook, there's a lot of food up there. But um, I think what I can really suggest there for you to, to stand out is to get, um, is, to, is to prepare or maybe cook something that is different, that is somehow unique. Right, and then of mm -hmm. course, for you to be able to, really, you know, for you to be able to re to really stand out, is you really have to be number one to be very consistent. That is all you need to do, and of course, uh, of course, talking about consistency, of course, that goes with the presentation, that goes with your price, and of course, that is uh, goes as well with your how do you deal with your you know with your online customers on uh, online customers as well now of course uh, there's a big consideration as well with logistics you know what if people especially filipinos na mapili ang mga filipino you know what if filipinos that's right filipino consumers if you cannot deliver them well then it's a good buy Diba? Why would I be wasting my time for you? There's a lot of competitors out there competing anyway. So I would rather go to them than, you know, dwelling on you. So the best thing to do right there for you to be very competitive as well is, you know, to have a competitive price, a very good logistics partner. Uh, you ne really need to consider a good logistics partner. And of course, something that you you, you need to put something, pers uh, personal touches as well. Like maybe you can insert something, a, a quick, uh, short, sweet, short message you know something that can really enlighten their day and then after that of course maybe you can give them free freebies and then most this is very important every client whether they are inquiring or maybe they are already your customers you need mm -hmm. to list all their names for your lead generation that is very important why because oh, wow. eventually yeah because eventually uh, when you are uh, when you are expanding your your delicacy or or whatever you are preparing, then sila yung magiging unang customer mo, and this is very important because of course there should be what we call the, the customer the, the 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 customer experience. Everything must be you know everything must be tracked, everything must be traced accordingly, and then you know sabi ko nga kanina whether they are inquiring or maybe wala lang kung ano anong mga tanong lang you know they are mm -hmm. already a good customer for for in the future that is so nice I, I like that when when you said the the personalization and making sure that you jot down the names of these people whether or not they bought or they're just inquiring because to me as i am in marketing as well I, I believe in what you said that 
like lead generation nowadays like a lost art right mm -hmm. it's very taken for granted right that these people may not buy food that you offer right now but maybe in the future right the, the ones that you are going to prepare he might like that right and then you have missed the chance already because he named right that's right so, yeah that's that is a very good take and that's very simple and what i like about what you have said is most of this are very impactful in any kinds of business without you even having to spend more right like what you mm -hmm. said like the personalization you can just put something in there like a sweet note and whatnot those are a little bit of effort but you you, you are not even like going to you're not going to spend more yet you are making a big impact in your business so personalization is one thing I, I i noticed that i hope those who are watching right now please jot down notes i told you this is going to be a heavy jotting down notes session for business and secondly uh, when you said about logistics because yes i mean I, I can't agree more to that since not everybody can go out right not everybody has cars not everybody has a bike or a motor or whatnot that they can mm -hmm. you know roam around and whatnot so if this businesses can only have like um, a good logistics partner it will really make a big difference right so i mean i'm super excited with this so what you're telling me or telling us right now is this little free delivery thing is really changing the game <laughs> is that what did yeah, i get it right oh my goodness yeah so wow so i mean if if you everyone watching right now if you know how to you know like make a bike you have motor or whatnot please we heard it from the expert himself this free delivery thing let's not take this for granted and of course make sure that you always keep in touch with these people that you are you know uh, um getting across with right whether they bought something or did not buy something from you still consider them they may not be the 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 customer for today but what remains is that they are still going to be a customer for the future right i love i love that bro i love that so which uh, drives me to my next question though bro see um most people doing business right now when they think about like expansion or improvement they would always think about oh man this is going to cost me a lot this is going to to be expensive this is going to be something what are those little things just like what you have shared earlier little things that they can tweak without even breaking the bank that will really change the image or the branding of their business the the, the small ones huh because this mm -hmm. is your expertise this is where your expertise comes from repackaging businesses repackaging mm -hmm. brand right building people's brand so what does the little tweaks you think like from the logo those things that you you won't really have to break the bank that really matters in improving your business you know what uh, for you to be able to you know catch up with you know with your competitors number one is you really need to have a good marketing collateral now what is a marketing collateral these are uh, some posts that you make on your facebook you know it is very essential for these consumers to see a good marketing collateral why because uh, this is where your branding is um is um um would 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 align to their what are what they are really you know what do they need or what not but what i'm trying to say here is number one you need to have a good marketing collateral now when you have a good marketing collateral make sure that you have you know number one number one you use uh fonts that are plain do not use and that are crazy i don't know how to how to uh, how to describe it you know but be careful with using your fonts be careful fonts, okay now of course there is this is yeah and of course this is what i've been teaching and not uh, uh not other people not other marketings out there are actually teaching this but there is what we call the left and the right rule when you are making okay. a marketing collateral now uh 
in 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 a person's vision it is always favorable for a person to look always at our left actually what that that okay. actually okay. lahat ng mga tao ang vision pala natin brother is that we are we mm -hmm. are we are lefty tayo sa atong sa ating mga vision lefty so mas okay napapansin, that's interesting yeah mas napapansin pag nasa left ang ang pinaka uh, ang na, mas napapansin pag nasa left however sa right hindi masyadong napapansin now what i am trying to say if you are making a marketing collateral if you are selling uh, a food make sure that you place them dito ha the food make sure you place them on the right the text that describes the food make sure nasa left siya kasi people are always you know reading about what's really in there so i really want to know what 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 they are selling now so the people mm, okay. that get the full information of what you are selling now you need to put all the text on the left side now, and you need to put the products on the right side now this is very strategic and this is very effective now to be very effective with your brand to be very effective with what you are posting, what I can suggest is always use uh, red, black, green. Uh, no, no, not green. I am sorry. Red, black, yellow, white. You need to use those uh, palettes because it is very effective. If you Now, talking about food, right, King? We're talking about food mm, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Okay, if you are selling a food, you need to come up with, uh, you need to make a marketing collateral that is, of course, the color palette should be red. Why? Because the meaning, psychologically, the meaning of red is, uh, the meaning of red, it, it, it excites someone. But most, in, uh, most interestingly, uh, when, they, when people see red, it triggers hunger, actually. So when they see red, you know what? And then nakita pa nila yung pagkain na pinos mo. All the more they would matatakam sila. You know they 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 would propel themselves into buying. So this is uh, this is what Jollibee, McDonald's, KFC, Tokyo Tokyo are really doing. Uh, red yeah. is very essential if you are selling food. Now do not do not uh, do, veer away from dark colors, ah. But for the text, make make sure it is white, black. But veer away from black background. Do not do it. Do not do it. Our goal here is to get the client fast. Our goal here is for every prospects to 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 get their attention and of course to buy them. Why? Why you need to have a good marketing collateral? Because diba, there's a certain study which I also conduct myself. There's is what we call the three second three second threshold. What do you mean by this? Mm -hmm. Diba when we are browsing on Facebook, we keep on sliding up, sliding up, sliding up until such time someone yeah. gets with our eye and then, okay, I don't like that, I don't like that. Three seconds lang yun. However, the goal of marketing collateral is to break the three-second rule. So uh, it will only happen when you have the red and the yellow because yellow beco uh, beacons... I'm sorry. Yellow beacons um, attention always and always. Kaya nga di ba mga I am sorry. Kaya Cory Aquino di ba mga Aquino are using yellow. Kasi ang yellow papansin. That's right. According to a study, yellow is really papansin. Right. Kaya nga, kung oh my God, I am so political. I'm very sorry. And 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 of course, pag nasa ka, pag nasa That's kalsada right. ka, and di ba pag nasa kalsada ka, the pedestrian. La, the pedestrian pedestrian lane are using black and white or white and yellow white and yellow di ba mm -hmm. kasi nga yes. uh nag, nag aagaw attention siya now you need to use yellow and red you know you have to be very specific with your uh with the marketing collateral so dapat consistent po yung ginagawa ninyo so uh, if you are selling a uh, high end na pagkain i can suggest mm -hmm. as you can put black and but put a a touch of red so okay every time a consumer pag nakita ng consumer yan will trigger their interest as well as hunger wow thank you so much those are just gems if only i could copy paste everything you said <laughs> wow and this are to all the i mean out there that are watching these is this are the very reason why this man who is our guest today is being sought after and being 
I mean, always been invited by big corporations to their conferences, to their events, just to hear this words, just, just for him to talk about all these things. These are, if you can imagine what he have said, these are gems that will really turn your branding and, and your entire business around without even breaking a bank. Did you notice he haven't even mentioned spending? He never mentioned buying. All he did, all he said is like you you make a little tweak on this. All these are very easy to do. I mean, all that he said just a minute ago, you can all do this in a day, and it will your business of yours like crazy. <laughs> Wow, I am so happy to have you here, brother. I, I now understand why big corporations are going crazy after you. And you have been 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 doing crazy turning them down. <laughs> One yeah. after the other. <laughs> One after the other. So now um there is there is this people also in in the online business section who are doing this live stream like kind of what, like what we do but they are doing it on facebook right? from here and there we see this people selling their dress selling stuff selling all this do you think that's a good i mean marketing move do you think that's a good way to reach out to your to your clients or your customers like doing the facebook live thing yeah that is very true. Actually, even SM is uh, even SM superstore is actually um, uh, SM department store is already are you know they are already doing it. Um, mm. it. It is very effective. Why? Because of course we are, they are practically they are they are practically selling Filipino consumers really really likes to have a feel of uh, what the dress would look like. You know, and they would, uh, of, of course, it, it it becomes more interesting and effective. Kasi nga, di ba, nung mga, itong mga nagbibenta online, uh, yeah. medium po to, small po to, mag, uh, ano po, uh, it's, it's yeah. the, the fabric. Is, it's the also, cotton, so, it's uh, cotton, it's, uh, yeah, yeah hybrid, the, the whatever. Is perfect, you know. You know what? Uh, this are this, this is uh, this uh, this is practically what we are calling a uh, marketing experience. This is a marketing experience strategy, because especially mm -hmm. if you're if you are selling food, now you need to eat. You really need to, eat, or maybe maybe you cook live, and this will actually trigger their emotion. They were actually they, they, this will actually steer okay. them up. They are making decision. Okay, I think that cup what I am see, seeing right now live i think that is so good i want to buy it because it will it will look good good on me you know what even jewelers are really doing the same thing they would um jewelers would would, would sell online and they would uh you know um use um i mean wear all those jewels and then in the event that the customers would you know stumble to their uh live feed you know mm -hmm. my point here is that uh live streaming if you are selling live streaming that is very effective however you need to be you need to to be vocal to be vocal you, you need to you know to be vocal because you need to get their attention right and then of course mm -hmm. you need to you you need to describe well what you are selling if you are selling clothing of course make sure that nagpapa sexy po ito nagpapa puti po bagay po sa skin wow. Because ito pa yung experience na tinatawag natin. Yes. Yeah. I, I, I am selling this cup. It's so good. It, it's so snug. It really fits me. And uh, um, according to my face, it it, 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 it really uh, delivers, you know, uh, a good appearance when, when, you know. And if you are selling food, you can taste it. You can cook live. You know, you have, you have to make sure that, you know, you put emotion Ito yun, brother, ha? When you are selling online, you are you are doing the live feed. Make sure that you have the right emotion as well. When you are when you are okay, let, uh, when you are selling uh, clothing material, of course you really need to be fashionable. You need to have that look that as if you are a model. Kasi important of course. Eh. Kasi nga dapat ma dapat kung ano yung pinoportray mo online, people will really actually you know feel. What you are really trying to to to, to sell to, and to say mm -hmm. and to describe. Ito yung mga importante. Now, if you are selling food, just like mukbang, di ba? Mukbang is very um yeah. famous. Is kasi nga 
uh, ASMR, di ba? Parang na, uh, what do you call this one? Um, pag kumakain sila, narinig na rinig natin lahat ng detalye. So, dapat ganun ka magbenta. If you are selling it online, uh, if you need to wear it, then wear it. Pag nag, if you are selling makeup, then you have to do it on your face. Ganun lang. Because people, Filipino consumers, wants to experience man lang. You know, mm. kahit sabi yan, but you know, we Filipino consumers w- would really want that kind of feel. That's why SM department stores are really doing it because it is effective. Actually, ang nagpasimuno niyan ay ang mga China. Si China. <laughs> Si China I don't yan. want to drop that names. Yeah. China, you know, uh, until it went viral and then it became effective mm-hmm. and the marketers, you know, thought that, okay, this is good and this will work. And it did. It worked. Wow. So basically with what you have said, with this, um, with this live streaming, Facebook live tool, it is very effective only if you make sure that you bring the the customers or the people to the journey right that's of right, them right. experiencing it I, I like what you point out earlier which is food again and i mean I, i'll tell you bro hats off i have never heard this i have never seen this but just thinking logically and emotionally of what how you you have explained it and lay it down as clearly as you did yes cooking live right i remember back in batang 90s right here yeah. back in the day there there's so many cooking um shows right in between shows and those are very effective before lunch there'll be a maggi whatsoever cooking show before dinner right like they, they're kind of prepping up the people that this is already the time and it makes you like as for, from your words magana kumain right because you are i mean i'm very excited with what i've seen and it kind of sticks in your head now when you dig in your lunch you feel like what has been cooked <laughs> uh, on the television, it will be the same thing as, uh, I mean, what you have on your plate. So that is a very good um, um, marketing strategy, brother. Like the approach. Wow. So please, everybody, anyone right there watching right now that is on the 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 cooking, not only in cooking or in the food industry, but whatever you sell, make sure that when you do the fish for says bring them to the experience give them the experience make sure that you mm-hmm. talk through the journey of how this would them feel like put, um, put emotions on that is wonderful now bro this this is something that you know th- this is something that big corporations are really running after you when they are already dying <laughs> okay <laughs> i know that there's a reason why you're a doctor <laughs> yeah, right? right. because Maybe. this big <laughs> this big corporations they're running after you when a specific product or a specific brand or a specific line of them is already dying and there are whom we know that you know just started business or in in the middle of the business yet they feel like Ah oh, man, my business is going any um, not going anywhere. It's stagnant. I feel it's dying. What is your advice to them? I mean, what can you tell them to at least give them a little bit of and and you know bring Okay. You know what? Yeah. Uh did you know that there is a study that 80% of new businesses are actually folding up in two years' time? The problem oh, wow. there is, yeah, the problem there because, so that is one, uh, eight out of 10. So that is eight out of 10 if you're, if, if we're going to, you know, uh, demonstrate it in another way. So uh, mm-hmm. businesses are uh, practically folding up, of course, because the branding is not okay. I mean, they have limited market. And of course, maybe they don't hire the best marketer, in, you know, in town. Now, if you are in the position mm-hmm. right now where, you know, you think that your business is sinking, you know what, what I can really suggest is to rebrand your brand. So 
for you to rebrand your brand is that you need there's a lot of considerations when you are doing this and this is number one of course you need to change your logo you need to change your font you need to change the entire uh the, the the entire ideation of branding and these are the things that are really important why branding is very important because this is who you are as a company of course branding is important because it reflects who you are most is specifically it reflects of what you are selling and what your services and what your company is all about now of course talking about if you're if you are listening listening right now and if you think that you you are that person you know you've been running your company for quite some time but then again you 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 felt the need to really change because you know uh you are feeling the gravity that you are going already towards bankruptcy or maybe i do not know what you are doing uh what you are experiencing right now but know this there is still hope there can only be still hope if you are very decisive if you love your product now you really need you really need to be decisive decisive in terms of changing everything even the atmosphere you really need to change now second now we already have taken care of the branding you know and uh, you need to relaunch your product it, it it you need to relaunch or you need to launch another sku or this or, or another product now uh some of the what i have observed so far is that some companies are actually well, they have been oper operating for years, but you know, all of a sudden they became stagnant. There's no growth. So what happened there? You know what? Um, ang ang sinabi ko sa kanila, uh, maybe you, you need to consider, um, uh, you know, innovating product. And the word there is innovation. You know what? This is very uh, um, mm -hmm. evident because especially Nokia, na pagiwanan, na wala na si Nokia. Well. Back in the 90s, Nokia was a hit. But then again, Apple came, yeah. Apple changed the game. You know what? Um, it, it was so very hurtful for, hurtful for Nokia because there was no innovation. Now you need to be innovative. Paano ba maging innovative? Number one, uh, you know, you need to get products that are still not on the market. Or maybe you need to innovate a brand new product that is very refreshing, that is very brand new, and of course, that will benefit your consumers. Now, if you already have identified, okay, may, may produkto na akong ilalabas now, you need to relaunch your company, of course, with that kind of product. Now, yung bagong produkto mo na pinalabas mo ngayon will become your, uh, will become your uh, banner banner product mm -hmm. for your company you need to relaunch now uh dawen hindi naman ako ano eh hindi naman ako big time na company you know what if you it's okay if you if you, if you don't need hindi naman ikaw um big time company now what you need to focus there is that you need to you need to go to your table and study and you need to identify a lot of markets out there na pwede mong pasukin. Paano ba? Eh, dawin online business online business lang ako eh, pero parang nagiging ganito, nagiging limited ako, nagiging limited ka kapatid kasi nililimit mo ang market mo. Do not limit your market. Now, how do you unleash, this is the word, no? How do you unleash uh, to become uh to 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 level up your product now you need to open up a lot of marketing strategy so kung dati nagbebenta ka kay kay facebook lang and feeling mo parang nasaturate mo na yung market mo then go to instagram kung feeling mo ay hindi pa rin effective si instagram now go to the facebook marketplace you can go there now kung hindi pa na hindi hindi pa yan siya nangyayari now go to another platforms you can go to uh, lazada you can go to shopee you can go go to beauty manila and you know what there are I, there are a lot of platforms out there that can you know can be a good marketplace for you now this is very important no do again what i can it what and i really suggest is do not limit your market you know what i can open up a good strategy with you but then again baka kakapusin tayo ng oras kapatid but then again you know what <laughs> yeah. uh, this, uh, yeah. Um, this is actually what big companies are really running. You, you know, it, uh, they would run after me because of the strategies that I have. And you know what? Uh, glory to God because I must admit, you know, that I really can't do this on my own. But then again, iba pa rin yung wisdom na pinapakita ni Lord dito. You know what? 
uh, if Amen. you are interested so far, in, if you are interested about rebranding, restructuring your company, or maybe you need to, you know, to, to find good markets, you know, if you feel that you are already limited, you can contact me. I can, I, I can, you know, I, I can freely give you advices. All right. That is truly wonderful, bro. Thank you so much for everything that you have, you know, shared with us. Though, uh, for those who are watching right now, if you have any, any question, please, uh, please, 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 uh, feel free to comment down uh, your question so we can um, address that and have our expert here, Dawen, um, give you yes, sure. two cents. Actually, actually, uh, bro, we have a question here from Mabry Wise. Um, the question is, what's the best colors scheme for gift thing store packaging uh makeup skincare apparel etc uh yeah i, I didn't like quite catch are the going to. so the question was what's the best color scheme for a gifting store okay that's good talk about okay, the yeah. best colors for business and all that so uh well uh, ano ba yung ma uh, ano ba yung binebenta niya? Can can they be very specific um, on what they're selling? Yeah, um makeup, skincare and apparel. Those are the Okay, very good. product. Okay. Now, uh for skincare for if you are selling um uh, if you are selling women accessories or women skincare the best uh the best color that you can use is color pink and white pink and pink white. and white oh. and of course the text should not be black maybe you can use the black but then again maybe you can go for dark gray para hindi siya ganun kabigat now if if mm. if i'm going to i'm if i'm go sana makita ko man lang yung business mo no but uh you know what ito i can give you a tip Right now, uh, okay. we know that we are in the pandemic, right? We know that we are in the mm -hmm. pandemic. Actually, I have weeks ago. I've made a study for myself, for my mark, for you know, for future marketing strategies. People now, we are already in the pandemic. Mm -hmm. You know what? And then, and this pandemic uh, already entailed us uh, depression, anxiety, to be fearsome, to be very uncertain with what's really going to happen ahead, right? So in a nutshell, that this pandemic is already burdened to, to all of us. And that is true. Mabigat na, di ba? So for your marketing strategy, the best colors to 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 the best colors right now to choose are those uh pastel. Pink na pastel, blue na pastel, pastel, pastel I'm sorry, pastel. You know, every colors that are so light. And of course, make it sure that is that those palettes are 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 tuned uh, to pastel. Make sure that you you have to choose those colors. Why? Kasi nga mabigat na yung mga nararamdaman na mga Pinoy consumers. Ganito ang mga nangya ang mga na so the the moment they will see that you are using bright colors or maybe the pastel tones, you know what? Mawawala yung depression nila, and all the more they will go to your store online. Wow, that is super powerful. Yes, I, I, I didn't think of that, right? Because especially if you are in the gifting, right? You should make them feel happy and true colors. Because, yeah, I, 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 like how, <clears throat> I like how you build your marketing approach, bro, that it really is consumer-centered. Like this is really focused on what you wanted, what you need. And this is like personalized made for you. It's not some random basic, you know, uh, um, business strategy that everyone can make. Like, ah, talk to this person, do this, do this, and do that. You are really talking about like specifics. If you are in giftings, this should be the color. If this, the, the color palette should be this because this, this, and this. Wow. Bro, we, we have been talking so much about um, um, great business plans. What are the good business? Now, if you could just at least give our viewers um, at least three businesses that they should stay away from. Because, you, you know, Phil is kind of, okay, let me go with business. Let me jump on the boat on this. And not even thinking about that 
this may not be a good business as of the moment. So what do you think are the businesses that our friends should stay away from? Mm -hmm. For the okay. moment. For the moment. Okay. You know what? Uh, there is still uncertainties ahead of us. And we know that. Mm -hmm. You know what? There's been circulating around the world that the pandemic can last up to 2024 or maybe 2025. And, you know, that is too long. Diba, right? So, exactly. yeah. So, number one, for the meantime, for this year, huh, for this year, mm -hmm. do not, I well, we're away from selling shoes. Because no one goes out. We are away from the shoes. Diba? Paano nyo ba ang sapat kung hindi naman pala ako mga kalabas? So, I like do that. Not, do not. And of course, make sure that you don't go for those businesses who fall under the category of non-essential. So, ano ba yung mga non-essential? Non -essential? Uh, if you are into the, uh, paano ba mga non-essential? Marami ang non-essential. Uh, wait lang, I'm I'm still, you know, um, getting, loading informations right now. But number one, we're away sure. from shoes. Just we're away from shoes. Mm -hmm. Maybe sleepers is, sleepers can be a hit as well, but don't, do, do, shoes, no, no, no. And of course, kung nag-start ka pa naman, businesses that, ganito, if you are just starting out, please, the way I am, the way I am sensing it right now, stay away from laundry shop, because malaki ang cost niyan would cost you around two million per setup. And wag yan, it's a no no. Because nga those, of course, it uh, your place can be crowded, and of course, pag crowded yan kapatid, I am telling you, because people nowadays, bakit magiging palugi, magiging palugi sa eventually. Why? Because people now would rather uh, wash their own clothing rather than going to ano. The going to going to laundry shops huh? yeah uh, laundry shops whatnot so stay away from from those and you know what do not spend too much money above 500,000 above 1 million kung hindi mo naman naman talaga kaya diba ah, kung hindi mo kaya now mga appliances do not go for it as well because people now nagtitipid ang mga mm -hmm. taong yun would rather buy food rather than uh, hindi na sila bibili ng mga appliances, TV, bagong cellphone, kung ano pa man yan. People will not buy all those stuff because importante pa rin yung pagkain, especially during pandemic. I would rather, mm -hmm. kahit po, I would rather eat even though my cellphone is already, you know, acting something, acting weird. I would, I will not buy cellphone. I would, I would rather buy food. Diba? That yeah. can really uh, satisfy my insatiable appetite. Diba? And top three, uh, ano pa ba yung mga dan discuss ko? Um, you actually discussed a lot. It's more than yeah, three you then, have discussed already. Of course, mga fashion, uh, mga fashion accessories, maybe hindi pa siya magiging effective. Yeah, hindi pa siya magiging effective. Yeah, cannot go out yet, no? Oo, hindi pa siya magiging effective. Kung may, kung may mga damit, usually ang mabibenta ngayon yung mga pambahay lang, yung mga ukay-ukay online. Mahi, ano masakit pero naghihingalo din lahat nag 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 ano eh nag uh, nag ripple effect lahat so mm. basta ganito lang in a nutshell if it is non essential don't go for it yet do not know not this year maybe you can start by 2021 you what you can start now are those essential for the for for the time being okay those are very profound words from you bro Thank you so much for that. Now, <clears throat> next uh, question, brother, is that how should you start a business? Er earlier, you actually tackled about this already, um, uh, finding your passion, right? Like, okay, I, I know what I wanted. Like me, I, I know what I wanted. Okay, let me, let me do – actually, I'm on shoes, so I cannot do business today. <laughs> so yeah. so say, say, for example, I'm, I am on cooking. Okay, I love cooking and all that. Or I, I love selling this stuff. I, I know my passion, okay? So how should I start? Like, I, I don't have money. Um, of course, uh, as you all know, economy is really uh, not really doing well th these days. Yeah. So how, where should I start? How should I start? Do you think uh, Facebook is a good uh, platform to start your business? Okay. Um, okay, how to start? 
Mm-hmm. You need first you need when you are starting a business and you still don't know how to run a business, you still don't know what type of business you're going to open, you you really need to be you need to ask yourself first. Babalik pa rin tayo diyan kasi alam mo a lot of people now I want to do business, I want to do this, I want to do that, I want I want to I want to have all these things to you know so I can sell them online. No. Because there's a big, huge chance that you will fall down. Number one, you need to contemplate. Ano ba talaga yung business na para sa akin, yung business na gust- passionate ako siyang, passionate kong ibenta. Okay, this is just a tip. First, before selling a product, you need to fall in love first with what you are selling. In love ka ba sa pinibenta mo? Because... If you are not in love with what you're selling because it is out it is out of your from your league you know what it you will just fall down you will just cry and you will just be spending a lot of money however if you are very passionate with what you are selling especially the product that you are carrying and you are in love with the product that you are selling you know what parang magnobia yan eh parang mag boyfriend girlfriend yan eh it will prosper mm-hmm. and it will go a distance now if you don't have the a right budget if you don't Uh, I, 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 you don't need uh, you don't have the budget yet maybe you can start modest you know you can start small you know what starting small do not do not neglect the fa- the fact that SM became SM because SM started small believe I always believe that you know there is a power when you are starting small because mag-aavalanche na lang yan kapatid. Now, okay daw when na identify ko na po kung ano po yung ibebenta ko and then um okay I do have the small capital maybe 10,000, 20,000. Okay, you you re, you you, re, you have to be very lean with your budget and do not spend unnecessary stuff. No, focus first on your product focused first on your product. Now, uh, where will I put my product online? You, you know what? So I can be visible to my to my clients. You need to Facebook now. Did you know that Facebook has an eyeball of more than uh, did you know ito na lang. Did you know that right. uh, an, an ordinary Filipino online uh, online consumer would spend around practically 3 to 4 hours a day just soaking in the uh, on Facebook. Now Facebook wow. is a very Yeah, Facebook is a very good platform that you can start with. Now, ito yun, maraming nagkakamali dito. Okay. Do not create a product, do not create an account na doon mo doon mo ipi-place yung product mo. It is it is not effective. Yung it is not effective. You need to create a business page, not a personal account, not another account, not dummy account, a business page. Because when you are creating a business page to your Facebook, you can boost your page accordingly, according to your demograph, according to your market. Now, it's important ito. And then, you know what? Effective ang business page. You can start there. Now, um, Paano, okay, daw, daw when my business page na po ako, how will I create, how will I create more, you know, traffic, uh, of mm. course, to gain organic uh, likers and followers as well. If you don't have the money to boost the uh, thing that I can give to you is that you need to, <clears throat> uh, you need to go to uh, Facebook groups. And then, may mga libre namang Facebook groups dyan eh. Il- y- ang gagawin mo, create a good marketing collateral, something that is very appetizing, that is very alluring at the same time, and very good. You know what? Tapos i- ilagay mo yung link mo dun sa page mo. It is effective as well. If you don't have the money, it can be tedious, yes. Because you need to to enter a lot of Facebook groups. And dami. But make sure that when you are entering a Facebook page group, make sure that it is always aligned to what you are selling. Kasi pangit naman, mm-hmm. if you are selling a skincare product, nilagay mo siya kay bike group. Pangit naman. Wala, di, di, di ba? It's not parallel to what you are selling. If yeah. you are... Di ba? If you are selling food, then go to uh, a Facebook food group. groups. Yeah. Uh, yeah, food group. That, that that are selling food. Tapos ilagay mo yung link mo sa Facebook mo, and eventually you will you can get organic likes and followers. Um, what else? Um, after yeah, you you can start there. You can actually always start small, and there is power when you are starting small. But then again, willing kama to start. 
yun pa rin ang question eh. You know what? There's a lot of people who can really start business. Ay, okay, magbe-business ako ngayon. Eh, simple lang yan eh. But then again, at the, uh, at the, um, when the journey starts with when uh, nung nasa journey na sila when they're making the business ako lang nag nagpikwit na sila because why <clears throat> nagiging ambitious masyado and gusto nila ay no 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 i want to i i want to start very big because i i believe that my business can really be so big you know what no no that is not good you need to be you, you need to start small why because along the journey you will learn a lot of things you will meet a lot of struggles. And with all those struggles, with all those learnings, then if you are ready to be big, then you're ready to be big. Wow, that is so powerful with what you said there. Like how you can really maximize and optimize the, the available tools, which you don't really have to, to spend money with. Like I, I like your, your organic and traditional marketing approach in there. Like, yeah, just by simply joining um specific page groups that is parallel to what you do or what you offer yeah that that mm -hmm. way you already know that you are already targeting the right people right for your yeah, business these people seem to be these people are the right people so wow it could be a little bit of work right but then again with this kind of pandemic in which you you are not really going to spend much of your time otherwise right and what you have said the the, the numbers you have brought up like four hours of facebook what do you do reacting on people's posts why don't you just use it properly right in in congruent in growing your business bro there's a question in here from a very good friend i know that you know this person joven estacio <laughs> joven uh, posted a question for you. You know, this brother of ours is, uh, he loves you so much. Says yeah. here, um, how do I determine whether I am capable of starting a business? That is a very good question. You know what? I, I, I just hope I can really talk all night. But then yes. again, we can't do that here. So anyway, um, sabi ko nga, di ba, uh, uulitin ko na naman ito. Not all are born to become a businessman. No one is really, no, no one out there is business, um, not all is business minded. We can do, mm -hmm. but everyone can do business. However, Okay. First thing is that you need again, and I will repeat this, you need to contemplate first, para ba ito sa akin? Is this really for me? Now, there is what, there is what I created, a study. Uh, my study there is that a transition from non-seller to become a big brand. It actually, when, uh, lahat naman tayo at first, I do not want to do a business. I really do not know because uh, I, I think I'm not a good candidate or maybe baka hindi naman talaga sa akin to. But then again, you know what? Wala kang magagawa. Wala kang magagawa ngayon because pandemic is a good opportunity to do online business. Now, kung hindi ka naman talaga business people, I am telling you, and how you're going to, you know, yeah, and, and ano yun? Okay, so how are you going to... Um, how, how am I going to determine where... To determine? Whether, yeah. Yeah. So you know what? So that question um, already. You can always be, you know what? Everyone can become a good businessman. However, for you to determine na para ba talaga sa you yan, is that you need number first to contemplate. And hindi ibig sabihin, kasi may ganito yung mga nangyari, parang hindi successful ang ginagawa ko ngayon. You know what? Yes. We think parang yung ginawa ko naman. Yeah. Yan, pero That's actually my next question. Go with it, brother. How do they know, right? Na, when they when should they be really thinking about those stuff, right? Like they started like a week from now business, a two months, a two month old business, a three month old business. They're already thinking like, I think this is not for me. Where exactly. do, when they should be entertaining those things? And Filipinos are very impatient. 
we are very impatient and it is true we are very impatient why Present. because filipinos yeah because <laughs> filipinos are traditionally hard headed because filipinos are traditionally opinionated you need to focus it doesn't mean that you failed now does it mean that you are not a businessman that you are not going to be that is wrong that's why joven i gave you I gave you and I made it myself a tracker. Diba, Jove? I made you a tracker. The tracker, it is a KPI. It is metrics. It will measure your success. Why it is important that when you have an online business or whatever businesses that you are into right now, to have to have a business tracker, para matatrace mo lahat ng progress mo, ganito yan. Pag natitrace mo lahat ng mga progress mo and napapansin mo that kahit papano ay you are growing inch by inch, then all the more that you will get the inspiration from there. All the more that, okay, I will do good kasi nga hindi ako effective dito. Okay, sige, ganito, ganito, ganyan. But you know what? Joven, and I will share you, I will share you what my father would always tell me. You know what? The, my, my father would always say to me na dawen, pag nabasa ka na, maligo ka na. Do it anyway. But then again, this time, you need to refocus yourself. You need to fall. Let's go back. You need to fall in love with what you are selling. Because when you are in love with what you are doing, when you are in love with what you are selling, then alam mo, then you won't you won't work a day because na in love ka na, you are already enjoying what you are doing then you know what progress is already at hand you know what i am telling you you need to contemplate you need to fall in love you know what everyone can sell but everyone can be a good businessman if you are really focused on what you are doing that's it hindi hindi ko tatanggapin yan na eh, hindi ko kaya hindi ko tatanggapin yan kasi nga one of my passion really is to really activate a person from non business mind uh non business minded people to become you know a, a hustler in the market wow. and i don't do that i can train someone you know what i am always challenged by this i can i i, I can trans glory to god but i, but I can trans form a simple individual to become a hustler wow and i believe you in that i believe you in that i i can i can see evidently how impact how much of an impact you have made with let me buy i have endorsed the product mm -hmm. i was yeah, yeah i mean you should, yeah. you should buy let me buy let me buy i i love it i love it so uh brother um i, I know we had you for for a little bit na uh, in a time i i just have uh just a few more like two, two questions more and then uh, no so um th this is a question from emily soriano okay okay so um her question is that do you recommend starting out with facebook marketplace instead of investing some of your money to facebook ads yeah i, I actually i just answered it uh yeah. what's her name What's her name? Emily. Uh, Emily Soriano. Yeah, em hi Emily Soriano. I I hope you're still watching with us, no? So Emily Soriano, it is still it is still decisive. Number one, when you have a business and you want to front it, you and you want to front it on Facebook, you need to have a business Facebook, and it's very imperative to have one because your this ito ha. Uh, what's her name again? I forgot. I'm not so Emily. good with names. Emily, Emily. But you're good in business. Uh, you're forgiven. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, Emily, I hope you're still watching because it's for you. Emily, number one, it is important to have a Facebook page. Bakit pa importante may Facebook page? Because this is your storefront. Diba? This is not, uh, parang ang storefront, ang your storefront, it, this is your brick and mortar. But only, to, but oh, nagiging online lang siya. So you need to have, dapat maganda yung magiging online page mo, di ba? So wala siyang pera, di ba? Pang boost, that's right. Mm. Um, tama yun na you need to go to a series of Facebook, uh, series of Facebook groups, but then again, that is very tedious. However, you need mm. to be decisive. And of course, you need to understand that what you are selling should be in parallel to all the groups na 
pinag-attend mo. Effective yun, di ba? Ang sabi ko kanina, okay, uh, go to these Facebook groups, create a good marketing collateral, make sure that your marketing collateral is very appetizing, make sure that it is very presentable and very good and very informative as well. Now, you need to put, highlight your, you need to highlight your Facebook page so people will click there. However, you need to be very um, strategic. You know what? You need to put gimmicks so people will really go to your page. Mm -hmm. You really like, need to go there. Like um, what gimmick? Like just an uh, example of a gimmick that you, you think is effective. Okay. Um, uh, YouTube is very good with this. Clickbaits. Ah, uh, Okay. Clickbait. So that that, that so, kind of approach. Yeah, but if you are only making for marketing collateral, uh, na online, ang gawin mo lang doon, you need to have a very good tagline. Yung tagline, tagline na very catchy. Uh, make sure that your tagline somehow, you know what, when people see it, okay, oh my God, there is something more about this store, so I'm gonna go there. Tagline that is very um, appealing to the crowd, but at the same time, eye-catching, and very, alam mo, na, nakakaano ng attention. Na... <laughs> Like, like uh, a hook. Yeah, it should be. Okay. Diba? Kunyari, if you're selling a whitening products, puputi ka in just seven days, you want to know how? Or did you click the page? Exactly, yeah. That, that is very, that is so powerful right there. Very simple, straight to the point. But yeah, because most of the time when, when, when people think about of a hook or, a, you know, a tagline, they always think about something that should be like, you know, you have to be good with words. You have to be like, you know, super um uh, uh um very um emotional and all that stuff they they forget the they're forgetting the aspect of simplicity like just like what you said you're going to be white seven days done deal it's either you want to be to be whiter in seven day seven days or you don't right and most people would i want to be whiter in seven days so let me go by this so simplicity in the tagline straight to the point is, is very powerful yeah, is that what you suggest point. Yeah, straight All to right. the point. Straight nice. to the point. So um, I think this next question from KOK Wayne. This Wayne is, is is a friend. I think you have already answered this. His question is, and this one's for his wife though. I'm passionate about makeup and designer bags, but trending product sells a lot now a days, like mask, uh, face shields, PPE, etc. Should I go with selling essentials instead? Darwin already answered that earlier, yeah, and he said like that this, this are non-essential. Okay. This are non uh, So she's already selling um, bags. You know, she, she, is she already selling those items? No, not yet. He's about to jump into that. Okay, not then yet. why not? You can do the bags, but at the same time, you can also up, you, you can uh, you can front the mask, Parang clickbait. So you can you, you can mm, front okay. mask. Yeah, you get me? You, you you can sell the you can sell the mask, everything that pertains to pandemic, and at the same time you surprise mm -hmm. people because when they go to your page, wow, this this guy this store is not just selling PPEs and mask and whatnot. They're also selling bags. You can use that as a clickbait. Do both. Sayang dinaman. Oh wow. Yeah, th that's good. That is a very good uh, way of, uh, you know, having people. Um, our good friend Jovan actually re replied. He said, thank you, mga boss. Thank you, thank you. And now your boss. That was your boss. <laughs> so um, um, I, I think this would be uh, my last question uh, for everybody, um, for all our friends out there who's into, into business and all that. So, uh, brother, of course, uh, business demands um, a, a little bit, if not so much. I, I mean, in your level, of course, it demands so much, right? But in small businesses, in online businesses, startup businesses, it demands a little bit of skill when it comes to handling finances. Because most mm -hmm. of good businesses now today, I mean nowadays, right? They they are really going good. The the very reason it falls down is because the finances weren't being able to handle properly. Money were you know dispersed in places it shouldn't be. So 
if there's like a tip you could give our, our business uh, partners that are watching how they should properly manage their finances, the business finances, how and what would be those those uh, styles? Okay. Uh huh. First is that you need to you need to list all your expenditures, especially your operation operating expenses. You need to record everything from your Miralco to your Wi-Fi. You need to record everything. And then you, you know what? You need to set a good amount on a monthly basis. Like for example, if you are already doing business, but then again, you do, you do not want to. You need, but then again, you need to manage your finances. Now, you need to you need to set a, an amount on a monthly basis. Like for example, I will only spend ten thousand pesos in in everything, whether it's particular or non-particular. You know what? You need number one is you need to set an amount on a monthly basis kung magkano ba yung gagastusin ko lang para sa business ko if it's 10,000 then 10,000 if it's 5,000 then it is 5,000 you need to set n ganito if you are already doing a business na right now you need to record everything that you are spending with dapat everything that goes in everything that goes out i am telling you you need to record it why because people are older, actually some some Online sellers actually there are already neglecting, you know, when recording everything. Kasi nga, you know what, pag nagbabalance ka every, uh, on a monthly basis, makikita mo dun, gana ko, sumobra ako, sumobra pala ako sa mga nagastos ko. That's why you need to have a good uh, recorder, maybe a logbook, so you can record your finances there. Do not limit, do not compromise. If it's 5,000, if it's 10,000, period so be it you know what now since it is already pandemic i am telling you do not spend uh do not do not spend on something that is that you know that are very unnecessary no why because you need to balance your personal budget as well kakain ka pa three times a day pwede na lang pag may mga mid, midnight snack and in, in between snacks so magastos di ba ang tao so you know what you need to yeah you need to you need to consider if you are not if your business is not earning much you know what you need to lean you, you need to have, you, you need to be lean on everything especially on your spending you need to lean everything so what i am trying to say here record number 1 is to record everything number 2 is to set a good budget on a monthly basis diba dapat yun lang ang budget na yun hindi ka nalalagpas the, tapos ano pa yung sinabi ko number three is that you need to be lean you need to you need to consider and we consider the things that are important if it's not important then it's not important diba you need to disregard it right away ang importante ngayon sa pandemic ang pagkain natin ang mga vitamina natin na tinitake importante yun if it's not if your cell phone is uh, not doing good if you know what if it's not important do not do not attempt to buy not in this pandemic you know what uh, you can buy the second hand always consider to reconsider why may hirapan ka kapatid especially that you are already selling if you are just starting you know you, if you are uh, just starting an online business you know what these are the things that you really need to consider and you know what to be lean and green you know what to be lean but at the same time healthy you can yeah. you can eat healthy naman eh. Di ba, brother? May mga ganun yeah. bagay. Again, if it, if, it, if it is not important, don't buy. Kung ang cellphone mo naman ay nasira lang yung kung ano pa man dyan na, na, na break still lang. Still working? Do not, yeah. If it's still Long working, still do not working. buy. If your clothes are still good, do not buy. If your shoes are still good, do not buy. For health, our That's food nice. here mm -hmm. lead to our health. That we're going to be in, but those mga na ibi by mo na believe. So far, 
Wonderful. Yes, you are here. You know what? I'm still good. With you. I'll say that again. Go ahead. With if there are still other questions, I'm still like. Well, um, by the way, to, to everybody who's watching right now, okay, the, um, please, I, I hope that you are taking down notes, okay? Darwin, especially the finances part, Darwin is doc. <laughs> Darwin has a doctorate degree in financial management, okay? That is his forte. If you are looking for someone who's really good or the best, financial management in a business setting in an organization setting in a corporate setting from the cents to the coins to the millions and checks this is the guy that you should be listening to this is the guy that you would want to to get your your expert advice from Th this is the guy so uh bro um, I'm very excited about this uh, exodermia. Can you talk to us about exodermia? How did you come up with this? Uh... By the way, for, for those who, who, who has just joined us, Darwin is, um, again, Darwin is the CEO of exodermia, okay? He is a longtime business executive for business corporations. The top that you know, he worked for them. He uh, spearhead marketing approaches that, nobody even thought of he really dominated industries in so many ways especially in business operations so now he has decided to venture in in in, in his own terms being a yeah. an executive for a long time now everyone who's watching this is the guy that you should be listening to and watching taking advice from for your businesses bro Talk to us about exodermia, how it came to be, and what people can expect from this from this company of yours. Okay. Uh, well, first, I'd like to talk about how did I come up with the money. Okay, please. Because um, that's something yeah. that everybody is always chasing after, looking after. How did you come up with the money? How did I come up with the money? Simple. I, I, I do have, I've been, you know, I, I have a LinkedIn account for already quite some time you know mm -hmm. what linkedin now ganito ang mangyayari niyan uh, what what happened in my business was I, I i just had to have a good idea number one okay. stuff, I, I just had to <clears throat> i have this good idea and then that idea uh, of course focuses on the skincare uh, i learn uh, okay. you know i named exodermia because the meaning of which is outer skin Exo, oh. outer, dermia is the skin. So hence, okay. uh, exodermia. Exodermia because it has to be in parallel with the skincare that I am selling right now. So actually, I don't know if it's new if it's new in the market or maybe people are already selling it. But um, exodermia, uh, I got the investment because there's actually a, there's a lot of angel investors. If you're going to look wow. at, at, at LinkedIn. You know what they are going to they are very um what they call this one uh they are going to they are, they are very aggressive and at the same time uh they are very generous in terms of you know how much do you need but then again you need to have a good pitch deck which i made myself so the pitch deck was so informative it has data economic data as well and of course the consumer data as well and it it, it is must say the data are the pitch are data driven and it, it is hybrid you know what uh so what happened next i went to linkedin i met i net i i had some networking with top ex executives around the world and these are people who are really you know in uh, would really want to invest and luckily i found an investor myself and then always do that but make sure that those ideas are promising those ideas are data driven those ideas make sure that will make sure that those ideas can create money for the longest period of time so what happened next you know what i met with i met with uh, an investor so we talked i presented i got the money by the way if you are going to present a business you are going to fund your business um they are willing to fund you ten thousand dollars 
up to $500,000. So that's huge. So what happened there, you know what, um, when after the meeting that we had, I already executed the marketing plans for the for exodermia as well the, mm -hmm. the branding the sticker there's a lot mm -hmm. of considerations in the branding branding sales and marketing side so <clears throat> luckily i presented again to you know to, to my investor and they really liked it and then now i am doing exodermia and you know what to be honest with you the ceo that i that the ceo that i am working before mm -hmm. now i am mm -hmm. her ceo yeah i it saw is, <laughs> so you. you are the CEO of the CEOs. <laughs> I am the CEO of the of the CEO. Ma, ma, yeah, bagay. Right? So, yeah, so Exoderma will be very exciting because it is of mm -hmm. it is a company, it, it's it is a God-centered company. The goal of mm -hmm. the company, of course, and na yun eh, and na yung kikita ako ng pera. No, but mm -hmm. ando na yun. Hindi, pero hindi ko isi, uh, ini, pero I'm very good, I'm not very good with the Galag, pero ini santa, ma ano ben? Isinasan tam tabi ko. I, I, pass. <laughs> yeah, pass. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, just put it on the sidelines. Okay. Yeah, I just put it on the sidelines. Yeah. I, I just put it on the sideline, kasi nga ando na yun eh. But you know what? Exodermia, the goal of exodermia is to help those, especially employ who are uh, those employees who are displaced. And yeah. the very right. goal of Exodermia is to create brand warriors. Uh, those brand warriors are people na walang wala. Those people who are very aggressive pero wala silang pera. Those people who are who really wants to earn but they don't know how, they don't know when, they don't know just, you know, ev even every bit of, you know, information. But then again, the goal of Exodermia is it to transform entrepreneurs. None is to transform ordinary individual into becoming an entrepreneur and then eventually to become a hustler in the industry so that is the long-term plan of exodermia and of course exodermia philippines uh, will be in partnership with ched will be in partnership with universities because uh ched nga, and also will be in partnership with uh go negotio with bldt and uh, PLDT Casenso and Go Negosyo. So those are really the, the the heart and the core of the company is to help people who are displaced, who, who, who help families na wala nang makakain. The very heart of the company is to feed the people. The very heart of the company is to help those people and to reach out, to bring a light, to bring to to bring a beacon of light, to give them hope. So I want you to this company hindi lang pampaganda. You know what? Uh, it uh, more than pampaganda, but uh, the, the the company will the, the the company will level up in term in terms of its branding. So please join me with this course because this this course will be in partnership with uh, what I am brewing right now. Five for life. For every product that sold, five pesos will go to ROG Outreach Ministries. And this okay. is, uh, yeah, uh, this is the, the heart of the company is to really explore, to, to give light, to, 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 to help people who are, you know, still living un under, under, um, uh, un under misery. I don't know how to explain it, but, you know, these yeah. are the things that we're doing now. And, of course, the most exciting part of exodermia, you know, this is how... Uh, uh, what I'm going to 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 you know to to showcase to you is that Exodermia is a company that is of course upbeat company who is a uh, company who is a uh, company who is um paano ba um company na ang uh, you know what a happy company a healthy company and at the same time and Exodermia will be will be you know be, will be frontlining products that will be very pro promisable to both men and women you know what and um, of course um Exodermia Philippines as well uh will be paano ba parang binalik ko lang naman pero it is a very exciting company alam mo kung kung may party party somewhere out you know what this company is mm. also talks about you know a lot of things and you know what i've i've done it not because of myself and i'm telling you this i've i've done this because god was with me and god is still with me until now so 
you know what it's so hard to open a company especially during this pandemic but then again when god says yes no one can say no and no man can even shut the door when god opens it amen i can't agree even more to that can you please read the comment that is being posted can you please read that for us congratulations <laughs> congratulations. congratulations now brother before we let you go and before i ask my uh, last question to you bro where can people find you for uh, business uh, consultation mentorship and, and all that where can people find you yeah uh good question uh yeah Uh, actually, we are already, you know, I do have my DRB business consulting, but then again, this time I'm doing it with uh, two of my partners. Uh, the, the Our company is called Unleash Global because we are unleashing potentials for people. Now, uh, you can please add me mm -hmm. on my Facebook, Dawen Roa Barrios. And of course, you can uh, mm -hmm. you can also add me on my LinkedIn. Uh, it's uh, Dawen Roa Barrios as well. You know what? Um Our goal here is to is to create, uh, no, not create, but we are going to help entrepreneurs become real entrepreneurs and, you know, eventually become hustlers in the industry. Our goal here is that, you know, we, we, we will train, we will motivate, and of course, we will give you everything that pertains to business that will really help you and grow you as a person, at, but most importantly, will grow you as a businessman. Now, please follow me on my Facebook, that is Dawen Roa Barrios, and you can follow me as well on my LinkedIn. You know what, I can give you, um, we, we, I, I can give you free advices, free consultations, you know what, you need to take advantage because uh, actually when companies are when companies are consulting me, you know what, uh, we're talking about six digits here. And it's yes, very expensive I know. consultation. Now, I can give you that for free. I can, give you, I can also give you a free system that you can follow. Uh, this is what we call the business tracker. The business tracker is very effective for you to, to, to be able to propel, to, to be able to, you know, to scale up your business to the next level. Because this is my goal. You know what, uh, Brother King, we really need to create entrepreneurs. Why? More entrepreneurs, it only, more entrepreneurs, happy economy. That's why, go negotio, especially Cynthia Villar. Alamo, Cynthia Villar and the Villar family, di ba? Marami silang backlash from yeah. netizens. But you know what? Uh, I, I, I already met Cynthia Villar when, uh, when she was still um, not a senator. You know what? Her passion oh, yeah. as well is. Your passion as well is to create entrepreneurs. Um, and this is true. More entrepreneurs, happy economy. Happy economy, the Philippines will rise to its destiny and to its calling. All right. All right. That are wonderful. Bro, I can't thank you enough for joining us and doing this master business masterclass with us, especially to those who who joined us all throughout. Again, thank you so much for everybody who's watching. You have been watching from the get-go. And I hope that we have uh, been able to give you value, especially in your uh, business. We we can only hope for the best of your businesses if you if you have jot down everything that Darwin has, has broken down for you, given you for free. I can only imagine how much of an impact and, and the the trajectory of your business would go this are again as as from his words himself this are the very the the very words advices and and strategies that big companies corporations known here and internationally are asking him to give them in conferences and other stuff so please take advantage of what he is he he has been doing up stuff nowadays is giving out free advices uh, free consultation free mentorship and i mean especially in these days of pandemic you can only see the heart of this this man that he's not really looking after your money he's not really looking after making money he's not really looking at, at selfish gaining like I, i i'll make money and taking this opportunity to build him but he is taking advantage of, of this opportunity to help others be built for themselves. So thank you so much, bro. I mean, 
I don't know. I, I don't know what words uh, is there for me to say. Uh, I'm sure everybody who have watched is really happy and uh, mind blown with everything that you have given them. Wow. So um, before anything else, bro, I mean, what is the impact that you would want to give this um, up and coming business people? Okay. Um, this would be the last start, thing. You know what? Start small. I always believe that when you're starting small, everything will just turn so perfectly in time. You know what? Uh, do not be do not be too aggressive. However, ag being aggressive is okay, but not during this pandemic. You know what? Stand small, stand tall. Be, you know what? And you know what? Business can only will will be more successful if you have put everything entrusted with the Lord as well. We can only do so much, and I am telling you. But then again, where God leads you, God will prosper you. And I so believe amen. that. Amen and amen. Again, thank you so much for this time, brother. And I hope that we can have you again for another business masterclass in, yeah, the, sure. future, in the future. Thank you so much. So uh, you can uh, have a rest now and uh, <laughs> do all your stuff. Yeah, your business stuff. Thank you. God bless you, bro. And I'll see you again. Okay. God bless you. Now to everybody who's watch, I hope that you find value in our business. Mass first time, but we have done live streaming here in our channel, and we are hoping to do more of this in the future. Let's all help uh, one another. And everything in, in may it be in business, may it be in fitness, may it be in, in other ways that we can all grow. This is what we are really aiming for, and this is what we are working on. Um, here and look, uh, here at Look Who's Talking, it would be very much appreciated if you can share this video, have your friends subscribe to, to our channel so we can, uh, <clears throat> we can reach more people and add value to people's lives. Hope that this really made an impact to your lives and i hope that your businesses will uh, thrive as uh Darwin has shared this wisdom and knowledge in business masterclass again i'll see you in the next uh, uh business masterclass i'm your boy k-i-n-g this is luke who's talking see you in the next video